faithful, I mean, supporter since he's got here. But this guy is not changing. He's not changing. We get beat by, by St. Peter's. There's obvious things that us basketball bennies know. Two plus two equals four, right? Numb to the losses. When, our, our fans are just even, we're just sort of kind of like desensitized to it now. We're just like, eh, well, we knew we are going to lose. And that's not okay. We should be mad. We should be nope. upset. We've filtered in and out these guys and gotten away from that five-star ability. You know, he's got guys that are maxed out with their potential. Is C.J. Frederick going to get any better? Is Antonio Reeves going to get any better? He coaches these guys like they're John Wall with all this endless potential, and there's these dudes who literally can't get any better. Like, he would scream his head off at Kellen Grady last year and Davion Mintz and guys that they have nothing else to give. You know, they've reached their ceiling, and he doesn't know how to coach any other way. So when you have these guys like that, it's impossible to get through to them. So they just shut down. That's probably why Frederick isn't shooting the ball very well. Reeves isn't. You know, the feeling about adversity and how you face it. That's just the fact of life. Cal talks about wanting to get these kids to the NBA. You can't get them to the NBA if they can't handle adversity. We've got, we've got guys in the NBA that are playing better in the NBA than they played at Kentucky. They're playing better against NBA defenses than they played here. So- I think a lot of it has to do with Calipari's indifference to – I know you guys talked about, yeah, after we got throttled by Tennessee, well, I guess I can go home and uh, be with my dogs. And it's just his indifference, I think, is rubbing off on on me and I'm sure a lot of other people. And it, it really makes me sad. It's just great. Hey, Cal, I love you, buddy. I am was thrilled when you came here, was thrilled with the success you had. But let me tell you something, even in the regular season, man, wearing a Kentucky jersey means something to a lot of people in this state. If you cannot get your team ready to play against a game like this on national TV, then you better just stand off and give it to somebody else. My grandfather, my his father before him, my dad, and – when I'm trying to pass on to my sons and my my nieces and nephews, et cetera, this was not what we were looking for. Stop telling us that regular season and SEC tournament don't mean a thing, and you go into the NCAA and you get your butt whooped in the first half? How about this, Cal? How about you take this approach? Every game means something, gentlemen. Every game. Let's go out there and play as hard as we can. I don't care about your draft status. I don't care about what you were ranked in high school. Wearing the Kentucky jersey means something every single game. Thank you all very much. I really do appreciate you letting me vent a little bit. Thank you. Cal, that message for you 